Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Friday, November 12th in New York City. And now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. The cruise industry released its annual environmental report this week, in which it outlined major sustainability goals and detailed the progress it's made. However, the report from the Cruise Line International Association doesn't address how the industry will solve the environmental and social problems that have affected ships for years, writes global tourism reporter Lebowit Lily Germa. One industry expert says despite the report mentioning that cruise ships are equipped with advanced wastewater treatment systems, there's no identification if the industry has tackled the known problems with the systems, such as the discharge of hazardous waste. Cruising is considered to be a major source of environmental pollution and degradation affecting, among other things, air, water, and soil. Many also see the sector struggling to hit its climate action goals by 2030, CLIA's target for cutting emissions by 40 percent. The lack of regulations on big cruises, which command the lion's share of the market, and implementation of technology that's been reported as harmful to the environment are believed to be major reasons why. We turn now to IHG hotels and resorts. Despite returning to profitability earlier this year, numerous analysts have focused on the fact that the company went several consecutive quarters without expanding its portfolio. But CEO Keith Barr envisions room for growth, especially in China, writes hospitality reporter Cameron Spirance. Barr said in an interview with Skiff this week that he believes opportunities such as converting lesser-known domestic hotel-branded properties to a global network like IHG are possible in China, despite the hotel industry's recovery hitting a roadblock in the country due to Beijing's hardline approach in combating COVID variants. In addition, Barr sees an enormous opportunity via conversions, deals in which hotel owners assume a new brand affiliation. Many hotel executives have turned to conversions to drive growth in recent months. We finish today with a look at the changing balance of power in workplaces through the eyes of the CEOs of LinkedIn and Slack. As more employees have come to cherish the flexibility that working from home provides, it's less likely that many of them will agree to spending most of their days in offices again, writes corporate travel editor Matthew Parsons in this week's Future of Work briefing. Several corporate executives, including Stuart Butterfield, the co-founder of team messaging app Slack, doubt employees will return in large numbers to offices. He believes that although some workers may not like working from home, it's difficult to imagine them ceding the flexibility many have come to enjoy during the pandemic. Butterfield added as more people can work from anywhere, they don't need to go to an office to sit by themselves and not talk to anyone. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skiff.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily newsletter at skift.com slash daily. Spoken Layer Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.